don't want us to see anything other than slavery when it comes to things that are broadcasted. It is what it ain't. It's your girl Ombre Alert and I am back with another video. I'm a little psycho, you feel me? Like a D-list movie. This is somebody that we should have heard about in school. What is going on with the school system? You guys are gonna be shocked when I say what I'm about to say. It's your girl Ombre Alert and I am back with another video. In today's video, as you can tell by the title, we got some stuff to talk about, okay? I just actually got the inspo from this topic on Instagram yesterday. I was on my way to work and I just saw it pop up on my feed and I was like, what is going on? I actually got happy because of, you know, Cleopatra. Like, I was like, Cleopatra is going to be played by a black woman. It's about damn time. You know what I'm saying? Um, but before I get deeper into this topic, I need you guys to subscribe. Make sure you like this video and make sure you subscribe. I said that already. Um, <laughs> make sure you guys subscribe to my channel so that you know when I'm posting and turn your post notifications on. I haven't been posting that much lately. Um, and I'm just at the point where I'm just tired of saying when I'm going to post, I'm just going to be posting. So make sure that you guys are following me so that you know when I'm posting, I will be also engaging more on my community so that you guys are updated on what's going on. So you can leave your thoughts and you can also leave suggestions for video topics that you want me to talk about. This is going to be a new episode for my Netflix series. I am I'm subscribed to Netflix. So any topics that you guys want me to talk about from Netflix as far as documentaries, um, because y'all know how this channel is set up. I do like based off true story type of content. That's the content that I really enjoy. I do have other content like, you know, fashion and things like that on my TikTok. So if you're interested in that, then follow me on TikTok. It's going to be um, at the bottom of the screen so you guys can follow me. TikTok is going to be like my style, fashion, hair, vlog, like mini vlogs, stuff like that. Back to this video. Let's get into it, all right? So I have always, me and my sisters, we've always had like a passion for Egypt since we were kids. I grew up, I watched the cartoon or animation um, movie, The Prince of Egypt. I love that movie. Like the, that was definitely one of the first movies where I saw people that looked like me. So I got really excited um, and it just really made me interested to know where I come from. And I think a part of that interest is why I do the content that I do on this channel is because I'm very interested to know what happened with people that looked like me before I was even alive or an uh, idea, thought, whatever. So with all that being said, Prince of Egypt was like one of the first movies I ever saw with people that looked like me. Also, Joseph, King of Dreams, that was another movie uh, that I saw people from, you know, Egypt and, you know, African countries that look like me. And I was like, this is dope. You know what I'm saying? And as well as Israel and other countries like that, um, that had people that looked like me. So I was just like, this is so cool. Uh, on top of Whitney Houston and Mariah Carey tearing up that soundtrack, okay? If you don't know, then you don't, you just don't know. But that was one of the best songs I ever heard. Um, best collabs, by the way, to ever, to ever do it. That was one of the best collabs. I might actually do a video on that, like music collabs. That was just like the best of all time to this day. And then, you know, back during when I was growing up 90s. But anyways... In today's video, we're going to get into the whole backlash with Cleopatra. Uh, Cleopatra, as we all know, is a play on the Queen of Egypt or one of the Queens of Egypt at the time. This was like 2,000 years ago, so this had to be AD or BC or one of those, okay? Um, don't get me to lying. This was right before the Arabian invasion. That's what they call it. That's not what I call it. Um, or right before Arabian people came to Egypt, it was just a diverse um, group of people, basically. And it was a lot of mixtures of different skin tones and races. Egypt was predominantly a black country in Africa. 
So, yeah, let's just get that out of the way. Egypt was predominantly black, and it was called, at one point in time, it was called Kemet, which means the land of black people. That's what Egypt was called during this time. So I just want to get that out of the way and get that cleared um, and clear that floor, you feel me? Cleopatra, the movie, um, I will be talking more about that in the next episode of this. But I do want to just like um, spit some facts. Cleopatra was a movie about a ruler of Egypt, a queen of Egypt, if you will. And she had a love affair between Julius Caesar and Mark Anthony. And it was like a love triangle. And she ended up getting, I think, bit by a snake and died. But it was like a, you know, a basically... Um, it was a basically like a love triangle ruling, you know, type of movie, if you will. Um, but in the past, you know, they portrayed her as like a slut or a drug addict or things like that, uh, if you will. The fact that they are updating this on Netflix and it's not, it's going to be di much different, a much different vision of Cleopatra than we've ever seen and it's with black people, I am here for it. I'm here for it. I'm here for the update. I'm here for um, the representation. I'm here for it because as we know, you know, this isn't the only movie that has been depicted in, you know, as white people. There weren't a lot of white people in Egypt at this time. And even if they were a lot, even if it was a lot of them, it, they wouldn't have looked like traditional white people with like fair skin. It wouldn't have been like that because it's Egypt. Egypt is in Africa one of the hottest, if not the hottest continent on the on the planet Earth. There's no way that you could be in Egypt and not have any type of brown tone to your skin. It's not possible. Um, no matter how much you're in the house or in the palace or outside the palace, you're going to be brown skinned. Okay. Um, let's just get that out of the way as well. But moving on, Cleopatra, the movie, was um, done with that love triangle uh, played by Elizabeth Taylor, a kindred white um, American actress. Everybody knows who Elizabeth Taylor is. Most famously known for her diamonds by Elizabeth Taylor perfume, um, apart from her acting. Elizabeth Taylor, fabulous actress, um, been out for a long time, acted for several decades. She was the star of uh, Cleopatra. This was the most expensive movie ever made. The budget for the movie was $31.1 million and it ended up grossing $57.8 million in the box office. And that does not include, you know, like the VHS cassette tapes and those sales and such which and such forth okay so this was not only the most uh, expensive movie ever made at that time but it was the most um, profitable movie of that time so it was a big deal a fact that I think is very important is that this was 2,000 years ago and a lot of people during these times I'm sure you guys remember from taking history class in school is that people did not identify themselves as like white, black, or whatever, uh, Asian, um, um, and so on, um, or Spanish. Like we didn't, they didn't do that back then. So it's easy for us to put people in categories based off of what we think their race is, based off of what they look like or their skin tone. But in actuality, uh, people back during those times did not identify themselves the way that we do now. This was over 2,000 years ago and people mainly identified themselves by the region that they, um, they grew up in and were raised in and were born in or by the dynasty or by the family that they belonged to. It wasn't like, um, it wasn't racial back then. It's, um, the only thing that was like racial, I want to say, was like uh, slavery and, and placement, you know, as far as, you know, what your status was with money. That's, that's the only thing. Um, if you didn't have money, you literally had to work and be a laborer, basically. It was like people, 
it was like village, the village people or the town people and then the people in the palace. That's that's literally it. If you was poor, it didn't matter like what your skin tone was. If you was poor, then, and we're talking about before like white people came to Africa, okay? Um, so if you were poor, you literally had to work. That was it. Like, and if you were rich and you had family in the palace, um, then you were rich and you had family in the palace, okay? And even then, you probably still had to work underneath people, um, underneath or work for your family or whatever. So it was more based on your, like, status, not really, like, race, because everybody in Africa was brown or dark skin. Um, and you can see that from a lot of the artwork that people made that's still preserved today um, in Egypt, you can see that um, there's a lot of really dark um, men represented and they are like field workers, you can tell. And then um, a lot of the women, if they were brown skin, they were uh, painted as brown skin being, um, meaning that they were uh, the, the color of the earth or the color of like soil and fertilization. So the skin color was um, a part of fashion in Egypt. So them creating a space where people could feel good about their skin tone, that was a thing that was represented in Egypt. If you were drawn um, in a mural and you were very fair skinned, it will probably mean that you were in the palace and you were indoors most of the time. So you were well taken care of, you were like a queen. So that's another example of um, you know, just skin tone, not necessarily race. I also do think it's interesting that it seems as though with this whole uh, backlash thing or blacklash, that's what I like to call it. I think that it's really interesting that people have a problem with Cleopatra being portrayed as a black woman. And, you know, it seems like whether Cleopatra is portrayed as a hussy as I would say or or as a powerful woman they don't want to see a black woman do it either either way um and I think it's really interesting because there were plenty of rulers um in Egypt that were black women like Nefertiti there's a lady named um, Lady Rai who actually worked under Nefertiti. It became very popular in Africa and she was known for her skin tone. And her mummy is so well preserved that you can still see her skin and her hair, her like braided curly hair. So, I mean, it's just plenty of examples of male and female black leaders in Egypt and it just seems like they just don't want us to know that like they just don't want us to know anything other than slavery they don't want us to see anything other than slavery when it comes to things that are broadcasted in the movies and you know it's it is interesting that this is going to be on Netflix which is one of the highest like streaming networks that we have um, as far as this not being in a, a movie, like this could easily be like a movie production, like Cleopatra, that movie is long, which I will be watching and having my thoughts in the next video. That movie is very long. Um, for one thing, it's very long. It was a lot of money and it's, I just think it's crazy how people, um, how they don't want to redo that again and put the same budget in and put the same work because they can do it, you know, um, how it's not a movie and it's on Netflix. Not to say that that's like a downgrade, but I just think that it's selective. I think that they still want to give people an option to watch it or not based off of if you're subscribed, whether, um, whereas if this was in the movies, you know, it's one of, it's like everybody goes to the movies. So it would just be an option as a movie to watch. So I think that's interesting. And a lot of scholars and, you know, um, archeologists and historians say that they think that black people are descendants of Egyptians. Um, and we have like royal blood. And that's why when it gets hot, you know, our skin 
like becomes sometimes at times uh, we have like a reddish um, brownish skin similar to Egyptians when we have an all black cast it's like there's it's usually like a movie about slavery and it's like I know plenty of black people that are just tired of seeing that I know that it's a reality it the reality is is that our people were enslaved for a lot uh, for a long time but I also know that the reality of black people is that we were also um, leaders and royalty for a longer amount of time. And I just don't enjoy that the focus is on when we were enslaved and not when we were, not before that, not when we were in control, not when we had everything on lock. So I am excited to see this. I think the, the backlash is ridiculous. I think that it's unnecessary. And I think, like, who cares? Like, everybody's entitled to their own opinion of of everything. But my thing is, is that we've seen this version of Cleopatra for such a long time. And I think that the focus shouldn't be just, shouldn't be on her race. It should be on who was she and what did she do? other than, you know, fuck around, to be honest, because that's something that I noticed from the Cleopatra of the movie without even watching it, is that she was like back and forth between dudes. And I'm sure that she did more than just that for her to be so popular. So why is the focus, why can't we talk about the fact that she is being um, over-sexualized and her, her personal life is on the front street more than what she did for Egypt. Why can't we focus on that part and not focus everything on race? Um, whether she's depicted as a black woman or not, I think, um, which isn't a bad thing. It's only um, another representation of what Egypt looks like, in my opinion. Um, and it's the representation of what Egypt looked like during that time. I always thought that Cleopatra being a pale, white-skinned, white woman was unrealistic for Egypt. Um, so, you know, and you're entitled to your opinion, but this is just the way that my mind works. I'm like, it doesn't make sense to me um, that you could be as white as the driven snow and be um, in charge at that time before there was a takeover. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Um, do I think that Cleopatra is a white woman? Like, as white as, um, Elizabeth Taylor? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Absolutely not. Do I think that she might have been either, you know, half black or had some sort of tint to her skin um or do i think that she i think it's a possibility let me just leave it there i think that there's a strong possibility that she um could be black i think that you know she comes from they say that she has persian and greek um ethnicity that's what is said to be what she was um but it's interesting that the director of the movie um, is also Persian. Do I think that she's Black? I think there's a possibility. I think that there is a possibility of um, a mixture. Because I know that she's probably Persian and Greek from generations to generations. So she's, here's Persian and Greek and here's her. Like she's all the way down there as far as like the years and the, the generations and the gaps. So it's a possibility that she is mixed with some black in her. And it's a possibility that she isn't. Um, it's a possibility that she just was a little darker because she lived in Egypt her whole life and her family lived in Egypt, whatever. Um, but I I do think that there is a possibility that she could be black. Um, but I more or less about Cleopatra, I'm. I'm thinking about what the the representation of what Cleopatra stands for, power, beauty, 
um, soul ties to your country. Like, that's what I'm thinking about. And if that wasn't portrayed in the 60s because of the society and what was going on and the Jim Crow and everything else, you got to think about what was going on during that time that that, that that movie was made. It was a lot of racial things that would have prevented a different version of that movie to ever be created. So if that's the case, there would have never been a black Cleopatra back then. But did it make sense? Absolutely. 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 Were they ready for it? Oh, no. Were they going to let it happen? Oh, no. So I think that this is great. I think that this is a great step forward. Um, and I'm excited to see it. So stay tuned. This Netflix version of Cleopatra will be aired May 10th, a day before my birthday. Jada Pickett Smith is doing the narration for the um, series. So I am excited. Um, and thank you guys for watching. I will get more into this topic in the next video. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.